Okay, so um, first of all, happy Easter. Um, and I don't know if you really should say happy Anzac, but I want to do my April favorites. Holy crap! April favorites already. Jeez, I can't believe that April is pretty much already over. But let's move on. I don't, I'm actually quite confused as to how April fav like these favorites videos go. Um, do you prefer me showing you everything like the products I've constantly used this month, regardless of whether I've shown them to you before, or would you prefer um, me featuring products that that are new favorites to me? I mean, I can always do new favorites, but um, usually I don't have anything that's too new like because my favorites are my favorites I will constantly use them and I tend to just stick to the same thing I'm confused so please let me know what you want down below um, I'm gonna start off with foundation I'm gonna sound like a broken record here but I just have to say Ravlon Color Stay has done it for me again I have been using this every day for the past month like every day I am not joking because I work um, I mean, I don't work, but I'm at the hospital from 8 to 5, and I get up and put this on around 6, 6.30, and it does not budge. I have tr I've actually tried going back to um, my other foundations, like the Neutrogena Healthy Skin. Um, I've never liked this at all, actually. Um, a lot of people have, but I really haven't. Like, the foundation does not stay at all, and you can see seriously tell the difference when you have Revlon on, Revlon Color Stay on, and when you put something on the following day. You can just tell the lasting power of it. And I love the color. I love everything about this foundation except for the smell. And I, I'm sure everybody, you know, has that same problem. It smells like paint and it's disgusting, but, you know, you push through that because it's just such an amazing product. Um, I've changed how I applied it. Rediscovering this brush, I have, I cannot apply it with any other brush. Like, I mean, I, this is still a good brush, don't get me wrong. This is a really good brush, but this just buffs it in so well. Um, it's just so smooth and so soft. Um, I used to just use this pop I used to just use this for powder, but then I was like, oh, you know, what the heck, we'll give this a go, and my god, when you apply it with this, it's just amazing, the finish is just, it blends in with your skin a lot better, and what do you call this, I don't know, it's so smooth, I want to get another one of these, but these are such amazing brushes, um, they're similar to the Crystal Scent flat top buffing brushes, so it's just like that. But this is like a couple of bucks, like $4 or something. So, I don't know. This is just amazing, I think. And I am definitely going to purchase another one. And it works amazing for powder. I love, love this brush. If you want this, um, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. This is so good. Next thing is this um, Revlon Color Stay Mineral Finishing Powder. This is in Suntan Matte. So this is what it looks like the kind of it's not a matte bronzer per se but it definitely has some sort of um some sort of shimmery type glow to it but it's lovely it's such a gorgeous brownie color and it kind of looks more matte than it is shimmery and it's just a really nice color and I've just been using it constantly this month I can use it to bronze my face up I could use it to bronze my face up or I can use it as a contour. So yeah, really amazing product here. I love everything about Red One basically. I've been loving this mascara. It's the Flash Blast Volume Waterproof um, Mac Bed. These two eyeshadows, you've seen this one before. This is the Prestige Shadow in Antique Gold. Like that. And this is a, a new one that I just recently picked up. It is um, Prestige Eyeshadow in Curry C229. And it's just this beautiful, warm, um, orange brown. It's more of a satin texture than a matte, but I just, I've always been looking for like a warm orangish colour to, to, um, to warm up my crease because I hate ashy 
like ashy kind of browns for my crease. It just doesn't look good. I love more warm toned brown. For eyeliner, I've been loving the LA Colors Smudge Proof Liquid Eyeliner in black brown. I think it gives it a bit of a different dimension with the black brown rather than just straight black. Perfect for every day if you just want to line your eyes because it's really nice. Eye brushes. I've been loving the Coastal Scents um, eyeshadow brush, just the black one. Perfect for like um, in the crease to apply eyeshadow in the crease as well as on the lid. Just really all round a good brush really good. Love this still, mentioned it before, it's the um, blending brush. It's just so versatile. You can uh, use it to contour your nose, to apply highlight, to kind of blend in your eyeshadow, yeah. or you can use it to apply powder under your eyes. It's really, really useful and it's so freaking soft. Love it. Um, and also this um, BYS eyeshadow. This is the um, I don't know what this what type of brush this one is, but it's not their blending brush. But I think this works fantastic. It works fantastically for blending in colours at the crease. It kind of um almost mimics the 217, but I mean I have the 217 here. So I have the 217 here, and they feel just as soft as each other. But as you can see, the 217 is a lot thinner, and I think it's. The density is the same. This is probably more dense, but definitely um, similar in. Um, it's not ta as tapered as the 217, but I think it just works like it. Um, so yeah, check this out. This is by BYS. I think it's seven dollars or something, but definitely worth it. I've also been loving my tan pan blush palette. It's just so useful. It's got all the colors you need, and you just when I'm busy and I can't be bothered looking for blushes, I'll just open this up and pick whatever blush I need. It's just so convenient and it's right there and it's got such pigmented blushes. Like look at this bright pink. I never touch it but you know, that's I've got to count something. Look how bright that is. It's freaking ridiculous. Um, I love using this pink one here and these colours over here. But yeah, they're my favourite. And I've also been loving the blush on this, the 26 palette. And it's just this peachy one over here. Gorgeous. Really nice. It's a matte. Just nice and really. They're a little bit chalky, but nonetheless, you know, you can work with it. And it's quite pigmented. So, yeah. Well, that completes my bed. Uh, my. April favorites. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.